and next time lathe operations uh, lathe have oh, too many operations will be there one is uh, two axis lathe another one is a three axis lathe and third one is tan mill or mill tan so this will be contained lathe operation will contain uh, job will be rotate tool will be stable and tan mill operations we have both tools one for live tools one for um, dead tools so currently uh, we are looking at the uh, chains lathe lathe machine we have two machines one is conversion lathe other one is nc lathe and third one will come for cnc oh, so cnc lathe have too many different uh, parameter will be required for run the jobs one we basically input the programs the program will contain the uh, uh, all the job parameters and everything so this will be converted the drive systems drive system will go to the machine tools and after that the machine tool will give the feedback to machine control unit so this will be so on the display unit as well so here we given the diagram first we have to give the input device input then it goes to the machine control unit then the data process thing the unit then it goes the motion data to drive system the drive system will move then the feedback will give to the device control to again so then it will be motion data will give the device system so this is continually it will be moves from what data we given from the uh, device so this we can see the display unit so here we have the display unit and too many control available in the market so all the control here the different kind of display they have it uh, Fanuc is the most uh, uh, places they are using it so we have that one important thing is coordinate systems for the basic input from the program so you have to know understand the coordinate system so this this will become Fleming in left hand tools so uh, XYZ will be contained under the Fleming in return tools then you need so the, what kind of program you are going to manifest uh, making it MM program or inch program so two different type of units available in that uh, device so we can use the MM or inches so then two method of program we can make it one is for incremental program other one was absolute programs so let's have two coordinate one is x and z formally then we have to give free rate and spindle speed then on options so cool and down cool and off spindle on spindle off clockwise and clockwise the this kind of on off switch you have to give you have to mention the programs then tool so tool control with the tool parameters so how you will control from the tools uh, depending upon the tool parameter it will be source so then the program sample is given over here the each and this is a standard format for all the controls O contain the program number N contain the sequence number G is a preparatory function M is a miscellaneous function this is for ISO standard uh, uh some specific control this will not work for g and m some control will work l ccx some control will work uh, without g code they are using it but m code is always comes to all the controls m08 m is a miscellaneous function and these are the coordinate x y z is a coordinate r is radius designation f is period s is spindle speed H is tool length offset designation, T is tool offset or designation. This two will be work on, on the milling mode or tan mill mode only. Hmm. T is a tool designation. So let's see when the control CNC, this is a control unit. We have Majak, this is for Fonuk. So we have display over here. The coordinate will be source and spindle on off and the program will be source here and we can type it over here also so here i turn this some sample codes over here 
done. This is for two axis lathe. Okay, one is x axis, other one is z axis. Spindle will rotate, it will be controlled. And this one is for live tooling. There is no y axis for this one, but they have c axis and they can tell the jobs and they can do it. And this is five axis programs. So this is for tan mill or mill tan. So it will be run or tanning and milling and both operation we can do it here. So this is for sample phi axis tan mill program. This is a C axis. This is also double check. So it will be rotate. This is B. This was Y and this is Z. This is X. Double turret that is a movement called for W axis. This is for sample lathe programs. Tools. CNC lathe tools. So we have different type of tools available in the market. So when what tool we are going to be using that we have to choose that one. Then we choose the parameter for uh, clearance angle, step angle and everything we can choose it. So finally will come the CNC lathe tools. Let's do mention here a lot of things. So once you know the tool parameters, everything, then you have to choose what type of cutting operation you want to be doing. So you are choosing here for tanning operations for wording. So you can mention is this is a tanning tool. I have to cut for front directions. So that will be content uh, uh, for the tracking point. So where we going to set the tracking point? Always the operation tool movement wise we can choose the tracking point. Same like. So here I am using a tanning operation. So tanning tool will come. This is a way. So here see. Here the insert. I place the insert over here. And tool will come this way. So I cut it over this direction. So it comes three. When the boring bar will come here and will come. So boring bar will be here like this. So this is boring bar. When I doing a, a reverse tanning, so it comes to four. Reverse boring, it comes one. When I do OD grooving, it comes eight. And ID grooving, it comes to six. When I do the face grooving, it comes seven. When I do reverse face grooving, it comes five. This is neutral, so you have to set always is the center of the radius you have to take offset center of the radius basically this many tracking point will be there but most of the tool will come to the front direction only so this four only one two three four only you can use it most of the time remaining you will use little bit area only so this is special purpose only you are using it so according to this one the uh, cutter compensation will be changed so this is the program drawing we had it from we have for, for sample purpose so this drawings we need what kind of tool we are going to be using so i plan it for uh, this is for OD tooling we need so i using for one for OD tool other one for those finishing tools then third one for forty. So I choose for one, two, two, three tools. I am using it. So when I choose the roughing, uh, I prefer for CNNC. So we can give more depth of cut, more speed, and to go faster than other inserts. So I choosing for CNNC. I choose a CNNC. So we have the holder. I choose it. That is called DC LNR. So we are choosing a DC LNR. And second tool is uh, DNMG. So when I choose the DNMG, I am using DDJNR. So I am choosing for left hand for uh, finishing tools, uh, right hand for um, roughing tool. Why I am choosing for right hand? It's better to visual the insert card corner because roughing always the insert will be break or something will be happen more time you have to change for roughing finishing you the insert life will come smaller uh, so better 
while using the roughing you have to choose it uh, the front direction only so I choose it for rough, right hand for finishing and left hand for uh, so right hand for roughing and left hand for finishing but then after that I am choosing for parting parting I choose for 0.1 uh, inches inside for blade inside so that this many tool I choose it so while choosing it we have to know the inset corner and uh, JR clearance angle as per the shape it will be changed see here is 80 degree we are choosing it as CNMG that is called for CNMG and DNMG is 55 degree so we know that the strength wise I am choosing a mid, mid point I am not going Very stronger. I am going with light stronger only. Here I show in the little bit sample over here. This is a radius corner and this is the width and this is for the circular one. And DNMG, so this is CNMG. This one is DNMG. We are choosing it. So now we are going to take a uh, to making program for toolings. So go to 